in this contemporary world, how does the church respond to the growing trends and issues in the society? How does the church respond to the negative impact of urbanization, gender issues, human sexuality, environmental concerns, and other social issues? As a congregation of believers, there is a need to come together as one universal Church of Jesus Christ to seek and respond as Jesus would. And it is ecumenism that is enabling Christian denominations to come together in addressing such issues effectively. Ecumenism spreads across the world not pounded by any cultural or national borders eagerly seeking to live into the unity that God gives, wills, and demands. Such was the Symposium on Ecumenism organized by the Sacred Heart Theological College, Shillong, here in India. The meeting of the Gospel of the Lord is the Lord's faith in Christ by the earnestness with which Jesus prayed during the Last Supper that his disciples would be joined. Friends, we praise God for this time and for this opportunity to be together at this symposium. And how wonderful it is that this symposium is based in the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ himself, who had prayed, May the all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, so that they may also be in us. Our Lord Jesus Christ had prayed for the unity of all Christian people. Jesus had prayed for his followers to be together. Ecumenism represents the universality of Christianity affecting the way Christians think about their faith, the church, and the world. It draws Christians together, uniting their life and mission, and bringing the body of Christ and the human community closer to the fulfillment of God's purposes. Despite different traditions and practices, ecumenism has found a common ground on Jesus Christ and his teachings. And therefore, one need to reaffirm the larger perspective of God's creation, helping one to seriously accept the foundation of faith in the biblical story to be faithful and responsible Christians. This is the benefit of ecumenism. The Lord bless us all.